See yo. Welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling on a daily basis. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. The topic for today is tonight is the night. Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes, main event in WrestleMania 39. Tonight it goes down. Let's talk about it, bro. Let's really talk about it. This is easily, easily the biggest match in WWE for 2023. This is probably the biggest match in wrestling for 2023 so far. Easily, bro. Easily. Let's talk how we got here. One year ago, one year ago, Cody Rhodes make his return at WrestleMania. I would say Cody Rhodes is a way bigger star in WWE now than he ever was in AEW. The whole four-year run of AEW, he's a way bigger star now. I would say Cody Rhodes is a way bigger star now than the whole six years he was outside of WWE. So that includes his NWA run, his Ring of Honor run, his New Japan run, his TNA run, everything. The stuff he's doing now is better than everything he's ever done in his career, in my opinion. Why do I feel like that? I feel like there's a major spotlight on Cody Rhodes. Just Cody Rhodes. Not Cody and Brandy. Not Cody and Dustin Rhodes. Not the Nightmare Family. No, it's just a spotlight on Cody Rhodes. That's all we see. Cody Rhodes, Cody Rhodes, Cody Rhodes. That's it. There's no wife. There's no dog. There's no DDP. It's none of that, bro. It's straight Cody Rhodes all the time, every time. I love it. That's the major reason why he's a way bigger star. Another reason why he's a bigger star is because he was in AEW. You feel me? And he was not the top star in AEW. He was he was not the top star in AEW. He was not the biggest baby face in AEW. He was the, the one that did all the interviews. He was the mouth of AEW, but he was not the biggest face in AEW. So for him to be back in WWE after being away from, a, from WWE for so long, and him being the first person, the major name to really jump shit from AEW to WWE, that was a big deal. That was a big deal. And then he fits right with WWE. The way Cody looks, the way Cody walks, the way he talks, sounds perfect for WWE television. Gangster. Cody Rhodes is not an indie wrestler. He's not. He's not an indie wrestler. That's crazy because that's the, like, his best storyline post WWE when he left the first time was like, hey, I'm a former WWE superstar. I'm a sports entertainer. Da da da. I'm not a nasty pro wrestler. I'm a megastar. Now he's back in WWE and his storyline is, bro, you're just an old pro wrestler. You feel me? You're not a megastar. You're just a blood in your mouth pro wrestler. You feel me? So it's kind of great how he's using his storyline, how he's using his career for two different storylines in a way. You feel me? It's great. But, 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 I said all that about Cody. Should he be the one to beat Roman Reigns? Roman Reigns has been a champion for what? 800 and something days, 900 and something days. He's probably been the best champion in the modern day history. Like his title reign has been good to great to amazing to God level. Like it's not even just a catchphrase. He's really had a God level title reign. He's beaten John Cena. He's beaten Edge. He's beaten Daniel Bryan, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Drew. Like he's beaten main eventers, Brock, Drew McIntyre, Finn Balor. Like, he's beaten a bunch of main eventers, and he's had great matches. Roman Reigns has had great matches at this, under this title ring. It's great, bro. It's honestly great. He's beaten Drew McIntyre in his hometown at Clash at the Castle. He beat Sami Zayn in Montreal at Elimination Chamber. It's like, if he beats Cody Rhodes, who should beat him? You feel me? I know WWE has Randy Orton in their back pocket. Randy Orton is coming back soon. I'm one of the biggest Randy Orton fans ever. I don't think Randy Orton should be the one to end Roman Reigns' streak. I don't. I would much rather be Cody to break Roman Reigns' record and to defeat Roman Reigns for the first time rather than Randy Orton. You feel me? Randy Orton's already a legend. Randy Orton's already a Hall of Famer. He's already solidified. This would honestly be the biggest thing in Cody Rhodes' career. This would be the biggest win of Cody Rhodes' career because this is the biggest match of Cody Rhodes' career. So it's like, bro, it's tough. It's really tough. Honestly, though, I feel like there's no wrong answer. Even though I just said that, I feel like there's no wrong answer. If Roman Reigns beats Cody and goes on another year-long title reign, you feel me? 
I feel like that wouldn't be the problem. But I do feel like, bro, we got here. He, this is going to be his third year walking the WrestleMania as champion. He walked into WrestleMania two years ago and beat Edge and Daniel Bryan in a triple threat. He walked into WrestleMania last year and beat Brock Lesnar. He's walking into WrestleMania this year as a champ. A lot of people has not done that. I don't even think Triple H has done that. Three years straight, walking into WrestleMania as champion. John Cena's done that, but that's probably pretty much it. Like, this is tough. This is really, really tough. This is really, really tough. I'm not going to lie. My prediction is, I think Cody wins. I think Cody wins. I think Cody wins. I do. I think Cody wins. Now, we still can get a rematch about it. And I feel like, I hope, I'm crossing my fingers for this. Everybody loves Cody Rhodes. I hope when Cody Rhodes wins the belt, people don't turn on him. Because we see that happen a lot. Whenever the baby face finally stops the chase and he like, it's all in a chase. Once they finally get what they was chasing for, the fans turn on them. I hope that doesn't happen to Cody Rhodes. You feel me? That's all about creative. That's all about who's he going up against a lot. Because Roman Reigns has been the world champion for a thousand days. You feel me? There's a lot of people that don't remember the world title scene before Roman Reigns was in it. I don't. So it's like, bro, Cody Rhodes, you are going to be following that. You're going to be performing after Michael Jackson. You got to do some shit, Cody. I hope Cody has a great title reign, but he's going to have to do some shit, gangster. That's my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at HRW underscore podcast. Follow me on Twitter at Hoops Wrestling. I'll be back with more.